Oh, poop, did I just lag? Okay, guys, so now I'm gonna basically show you guys talk about your legendary armor. Not about imbuing, blah, 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 because that's annoying, but imbuing, imbue, you, here, the thing that people always ask about imbuing is, should I do this or should I do that before or after? It's best, I'm just gonna do this, it's best to get all the legacies you want before you imbue it. That's one. Two, it doesn't matter when you apply Anthelas Scrolls of Empowerment or when you apply um, your crystals or your delving. It does not matter when or before. I don't think that matters whatsoever. You can talk to some numbers person. I don't give a blah 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 next. Anyways, but in this section of my um, guide-ish blah 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 whatever, it's mostly about Anphalas Scrolls of Empowerment as well as Starlit Crystals. The reason why I'm gonna talk to you about Anphalas Scrolls of Empowerment is because you will need a freaking ton of freaking Anphalas Scroll of Empowerment after you imbue your weapon. Like nearly 100. Like what the fuck? Like seriously? So, okay, I just realized that was so effing annoying sounding and cringy. Okay, <laughs> anyways, oh, who cares? Now, these two NPCs, which they also have these at uh, Minas Tirith, are big battle NPCs. The reason why you should do um, big battle still, if you are not, if you're not done yet with your character or whatever, not only do you get obviously your gold, um, you, you can get some set jewelry in there, but you can get essences and tomes from the boxes. And of course, symbols like first age symbol or second age symbol. But the other good thing about doing big battles are the tokens you get there, the star merits, you can actually barter them more than the gold jewelry. Like this guy, this lady, the high honors one, is you requires you, you know, you could barter for these gold tokens. See, I have that much star merits at the moment, that's not really a lot, but um. The star merits, you can also barter those for, here they are, Essence Reclamation Scrolls, Anthlas Scroll of Empowerment, Starlet Crystals. So yeah, so you probably need nearly a hundred Anthlas Scroll of Empowerment. Like, what the freaking hell. But remember, um... Whatever. So, Anaphalas, Starlet, Crystals, you probably need at least 10. I'm not, I don't remember the exact number, but it's around that number. So that's one way you can get Anaphalas, Scrolls of Empowerment, and Starlet, Crystals, and Essence Reclamation Scrolls, is from doing big battles and bartering for them. Other ways you can actually get, um, uh, Anaphalas, Scrolls of Empowerment, are, is actually talking to the roving threat NPC. Now these roving threat NPCs, they're everywhere. They're, they have one in Misty Mountains, they have one in Forest Shell, they have one in freaking Angmar, but I'm in Dull Emerald, so I'm gonna show you. So obviously they'll say roving threat quartermaster. They have, have this in Central Gondor too. Mostly everywhere. Now, these roving threat tokens they're gonna be called these things, Gift Giver Brand. Now you can you can use this to barter for several things, your pocket item, but since I'm talking about your LI, scroll down a bit or whatever, scroll whatever you want, blah blah blah, but anyways, I'm gonna show you, but here. It, you can obviously get another way to get Anaphalas Scroll of Empowerment is doing these roving threats daily. Um, they're, you don't have to do them, they're like Someone might, some of them are soloable, some of them are not. You may need a group slash raid for them, six man or whatever. But let, there you go. So 10 of those tokens equals one yeah, empowerment got... scroll. So hello. Now um, not only can you use these tokens for obviously, if you look, you already look down here, you're gonna get first agers with them as well. But don't, don't do that, that's a waste. Use it for Anthlas Scroll of Empowerments, and of course, your um, if you want to get these uh, pocket items, you can. So those are now two ways, alternative ways to get your 
Scroll of Empowerment. Now, let me see where else you can get Scroll of Empowerment. Other NPC, I forgot to basically tell you guys, or you can go to to get Anflash Scroll of Empowerment, is the Relics person in Del Emroth. You can use your silver and gold tokens that you gain from training exercises to barter for this. It takes, um, well, it, it tells you right there, so there you go. Um, the other uh, place you can get Scroll of Empowerment, again, is at Minas Tirith. Here I am at Minas Tirith. You can see that, basically, you can get Anflash Scroll of Empowerment from this guy. You go to Ally and Smith, and there's Anflash Scroll of Empowerment. It requires four Smith tokens. I already talked to you guys about that on how to unlock it on my other videos. But if you don't, a reminder, you just have to be a friend to be able to unlock the repeatable instance friend reputation oh by the way this bergman's fellowship guy here requires kindred for him to activate so the next i'm going to show look for you the next area to get anflash scroll of empowerment i think actual Gondor might have it okay so here i am now in arnok uh eastern gondor most gondor rep people usually have all the anflash scrolls of empowerment an essence reclamation scroll and even probably um what are those things called essences so here's a quarter master and as you can see they have all this crap you can barter for look there's like i mentioned they have blah 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 for whatever these are things are called essences even but like i mentioned we were talking about li's and there they are scrolls these scrolls are basically the same as the one in dull and roth there's the uh, scrolls of empowerments right there. So, loads of different ways you can get Anflash scrolls of empowerment. Uh, last areas you can obviously get them. The most obvious is obviously, obviously the most obvious, obviously get it, stupid, is the skirmish camp. And I had that pause there thinking I had something else to say, but no I don't. Skirmish camp and the auction house, obviously. Uh, at the moment here in Landrovel, each scroll sells for at least 15 to 20 gold each. So there you guys go about um, empowerment scrolls and legendary item on getting all those, um, you know, working on your legendary for empowerment scrolls because that's probably the most grind of them all is the empowerment scrolls so yeah so thanks guys for watching this um part of my guide so please subscribe share and blah 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 and check out my other videos and so forth so thanks guys